up, everybody? Welcome to episode 49. It is the start of a new day and a new load. Where to go? Make a man change his mind. She's a lawyer's queen, a trucker's dream with a baseball outfit for. Now, for anybody that's considering being a truck driver, please be a decent human being so you don't ruin it for all the other truck drivers coming up. Like, a lot of your Walmarts and stuff don't allow truck parking anymore. And it's not because of the space we take up. It's because of these dirty, trashy bastards that ruin it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. See all this trash? And you see these bottles with that kind of dark liquid in it that they just leave laying around? That ain't sweet tea, people. Ain't nothing sweet about it. It's piss. Sure, I use a piss bottle too. We've got a um, washer fluid jug. Actually, deer part with the big spout works good for it too but what I do is when it gets you know over halfway or whatever when I go to the shower I've got a separate compartment that I put it down in there and I pour it in the toilet or I get either drop it in a trash can and get a new bottle but I pee a lot more than I go through washer fluid so you know just doing that alone is not actually gonna work you have to empty it out and you definitely don't want to like pour it out on the ground cause well, it doesn't smell good and you know it could leak onto your shoes and that would be kind of gross but I almost don't even want to tell you guys about it in Jinx. Last time I said, hey, we're going to Cali. We didn't go to Cali. We didn't go to Cali. As soon as you mention it, they're going to disappear. They're just going to fly right off the driver's Well, I'm not going to oh, say no, it. Hell no, you ain't going there. But for now, we're going to Fort Worth. Uh -huh. And I know we are because the load's behind us. making awesome time from uh, the FedEx where we picked up in Maryland. Massey broke like an all-time record for mileage in the ship, 679 miles, and I was doing my best to break it. And was on track for 700. And then we got to Dallas. And Damn now it, it man. Yep. The nature of the Dallas beast right here. <clears throat> saying it out loud. It doesn't make sense. A beautiful section of the city. This is Fort Worth, people. The East Chase Parkway. That just lowered right in front of us. And we have arrived 
1,300 miles with FedEx here in Fort Worth. Hmm. Hey, buddy. I'm at the FedEx, just got my paperwork, gonna go drop my empty, find my loaded trailer that is ready, and uh, we're gonna hit the road to California. Welcome to the desert. close at the end of my shift and we're about 30 miles from Albuquerque and well I'm tired of Subway and McDonald's which was the pilot so I was wanting to go to a TA and I made a made a wrong turn and um, instead of backing down a back and back up the dirt road um, this guy told me I could take the service road and I was following it to the TA and look what I came to that's I-40 right there and it says the height is 13.6. Yeah, but this uh, underpass right here is 13.6. And I've always heard we need a clearance of 13.6. So I'm hoping we're just gonna squeeze under it. Now we're gonna go about this the safe route. I'm not gonna get a full head of speed and try to get under it. We're gonna ease up to it. And Jason's gonna get out. And you know, worst case scenario, I can back straight up and pull into the road from here. So. We're gonna be good, but I've got like 35 minutes of time. 66 loop. I bet you guys didn't think we were going to go under that short bridge upside down, did you? Yeah, that's how we roll. Yeah, but we made it through another shift. We're in New Mexico, just a little bit side of Albuquerque, and we're, I wanted Taco Bell, and I went around in my, you know what, to get to my elbow to get to this, and we found out, heck, we could probably go under, what, 13, 5, 13, 4? <laughs> We had a little bit to spare, <laughs> but we're going to grab us some Taco Bell. <laughs> 